Hi guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. Today we're going to be doing a bow review on a Maitland Retribution. Uh, this is a kind of a small bow company. They're a new, a new bow company. Uh, we're going to be doing some shooting with this bow. Uh, we're going to be doing some chrono. Uh, we're going to chrono this bow, and then we're just going to show you some of the specs, some of the, the technology behind this bow because it's got some of the most unique technology on the bow market today. So we'll give you a good up close look of this bow uh, here in just a second. And we'll show you, uh, we're going to shoot this thing uh, and, and show you how smooth it is and things like that. I've been shooting this bow for a week. And uh, this is a 70 pound bow and I can, I can shoot this bow uh, 70 pounds all day long. This is not a speed bow if you're looking for a speed bow. Uh, they've got a new 2011 bow coming out with a new cam system on it. Uh, that, that, that you'd be, be more up your alley if you're looking for a speed bow. But I have found in the last week of shooting this bow that even though it's not a speed bow, this is one of the most accurate, most forgiving, and just most consistent bows that I've shot. So we're going to show you here a chronograph uh, readings with this thing. Uh, I only got two um, two modules for this thing. I got a 28 inch uh, module and I've got a 27 inch module. So we're going to show you the chrono readings uh, that we got with this bow set on our 28 inch module. This is a Maitland Retribution, uh, 70 pounds, 28 and a half inch draw, uh, 353. 353 grain arrow. Okay, so you can see there, this is not exactly a barn burner. Like I said, the uh, the speeds there are, are pretty slow compared to today's market, but that's with the VTX cam that's on this bow. Uh, the 2011 are going to have a VTX cam as well as a new cam that uh, that is a speed cam that's going to IBO rate this bow for uh, 340. Right now it's IBO rated for 318. So the new cam is going to give you a dramatic jump in speed. So now we're going to cut to a little segment here showing you some of the technology behind this bow. The Maitland Retribution has a uh, has a hybrid cam system on it called the VTX cam. That's what's on this particular model. The new one will have a different cam on it. Uh, you'll still be able to get the VTX, but the new one will have a faster updated cam system on it. It has a full reach two-piece grip. It's really nice looking grip here. The grip's one of my favorite things about this bow. It really sits nice in your hand and you hardly ever know it's there. It comes with Proline uh, 452X Halo pre-stretched strings. So a really good set of strings on this bow as well. Uh, it's 31 inch. Uh, billet cut riser, so yeah, this is not an extrusion, this is billet cut, so really nice riser on it, really nice riser design with this limb pocket, that doesn't even really have a limb pocket here, but this is a bridged uh, center pivot design to it, uh, if I can use the word center pivot, but that's what it is, it's a center pivot design with a bridged, uh, a bridged riser up here, so it's a really cool, really cool looking and it's going to add some strength there to it as well. Um, uh, it's got the Teflon cable slide on it, it's got the string suppressor that comes factory on it as well. So really cool, a lot of good technology in there. Like I said earlier, this has a long riser technology on it. This is a uh, 33 inch axle to axle bow and it has a 30 inch, 31 inch riser, which is way longer than what most 33 inch axle to axle bows are going to have. Uh, this is basically to give you a short parallel limb, it gives you a more stable shooting platform, uh, it cuts down on noise and vibration. And I can tell you right now, it makes this bow rock solid in your hand. It holds beautifully. It holds fantastic. And it is just one of the most accurate bows that I've shot. And I think a lot of that should be credited to the long riser technology. Uh, this does not have a limb pocket system on it. This has the advanced limb harness system on it. You can see these here. Uh, basically, it's just the way your limbs kind of float on there. Uh, they do not rock or pivot out of the pocket, losing, losing support. Uh, this limb pivot extends out five inches from the from the draw weight adjustment block and it has a draw weight adjustment block here that whole block slides in and out so that's another really nice feature that uh, basically uh, this design is straight is the same design that engineers use in a bridge structure so it's really nice it's it's, uh, it's it's indestructible with no flex to it at all like some other limb pocket systems out there like I said it's got the VTX hybrid cam system on it smooth drawing cam system uh, the peak weight starts really early and continues its arc until it gets to the 80% off valley. And you never know you've dropped into that. That's what they say on the website and I can guarantee you do not know that you've dropped into that. No slop in the valley. Uh, solid back wall. It just is an awesome, awesome draw cycle. 
and uh, really great for hunters and target shooters uh, alike. One of the really cool features of this cam system is it has 8 inch draw length adjustments. I got a 27 inch uh, module on there and I shoot about a 27 and a quarter inch uh, draw length and I on other bows I have to go 27 or I have to go 27 and a half and what I've been generally doing is going 27 and getting a um, getting a uh, putting a loop on there but with this bow I can actually set it at 27 and a quarter and put me a nice tiny loop on there and I set this up to the exact way that I want it set up it's a really cool design on there this is a module based uh, cam system you got to uh, order the module that you need for the draw link and it has to be pressed uh, to change those modules out but no problem there uh, you want to use something with like an easy press something that presses straight in uh, on these tips so uh, that's the technology behind the Maitland bow okay so you can see there this is one of the most innovative bows on the market and the long riser technology that we discussed makes it very very stable uh, this hybrid VTX cam makes this thing just a breeze to pull back uh, it's, it's really simply one of the smoothest shooting and smoothest drawing bows that I've ever shot. And for being a 30, uh, let's see what the axle to axle on this thing is. Um, it's a 33 inch axle to axle bow, uh, like we said in the, in the specs on this thing. For being a 33 inch axle to axle bow, that long riser technology not only helps make it vibration free, and, but it also seems to hold real solid. This bow, without a stabilizer on it, it's a little bit top heavy. You could, it, it, it just feels a little bit top heavy. Throw a stabilizer on there and it really balances it out nice. Uh, I'm shooting an octane stabilizer on there. This bow is pretty quiet. Uh, set up just like this. It's got just a little bit of noise to it. Not too bad. Not something you couldn't take. Uh, put a set of limb jacks on there or something like that and, and take that noise right out of this thing. So really smooth bow. Really accurate bow. And uh, one that's just a really good shooter. So now we're going to show you some of the... Uh, a segment here of me just shooting this bow will show you how smooth it is and how the how this bow sounds on the shot. This is set at 70 pounds and a 27 inch draw length. You can see there after the shot this thing is absolutely dead in your hand, no recoil and absolutely as stable as can be. Uh, now this bow set at 70 pounds I normally shoot 60 and you can see at 70 pounds, no hesitation to it at all. Just an awesome smooth cam, probably the smoothest bow, smoothest cam I've ever felt in my life. 70 pounds and I can sit here and hold this thing all day long. So I flinched a little bit on that shot but you can see this thing is smooth. It's got a little bit of noise to the shooter's ear and I can't figure out where that noise is. Sounds like something's loose in it, but it, nothing's loose, so it's got to be the bow. Um, it's got just a little bit of a rattle to it whenever I shoot. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but uh, I don't think it's nothing that couldn't be taken out with a uh, with some some kind of limb jacks on it or some uh, some dampening materials is all you would need, I think. like that smooth as can be now I'm gonna give it the ultimate test uh, that I give all my bows I'm really curious to see if I can do it with this bow set at 70 pounds I'm gonna get down on the ground I'm gonna lay on my back and see if I can shoot this thing off my back okay I've never been able to draw and shoot a 70 pound bow off my back so we'll see how this works out Easy. I ended up having to do this three times because it's having an arrow problem with my arrow sliding up on me, but I can pull this thing off my back no problem at all. Okay, so that's the Maitland Retribution. Uh, very solid bow. Uh, not a speed bow, I'll tell you that right now with this VTX cam on it. Uh, but the new cam system they got coming out uh, definitely be worth looking at. It, it makes this bow here uh, into a 340 feet per second uh, bow, which is an outstanding bow. Uh, this has a 7 inch brace sight on it, so it's nice and forgiving. Uh, just an extremely nice shooting bow and just an awesome all-around bow um, you can use this for target shooting definitely a great target shooting bow uh, deer hunting like I said this is 
This is an awesome all-around bow. So for deer hunting, it's going to be a fantastic bow, 3D, indoor. There's nothing, there's nothing that I don't think that a guy could do with this bow. I really feel like this is a sleeper company, and uh, that new cam design I think is really going to going to help them get out there. Speed bows are the thing today, but I guarantee you, there's no other bow on the market that I can pull a 70-pound bow off my back like I did earlier. So uh, just an outstanding bow from Maitland, and you can look them up. Their website is MaitlandUSA.com, and uh, they got they make this and they make the Zeus as well. Uh, outstanding bow, definitely one of the, one of my uh, one of the smoothest bows, if not the smoothest bow that I've ever shot. Uh, I really got no complaints about this bow. There's really not much uh, that I could find to, to fault this bow. It's a little bit top heavy, but like I said, a stabilizer uh, takes care of that pretty well. I got a long octane stabilizer on there. A little bit top heavy and uh, the speed ratings that we got out of it on, on my chrono are just a little bit slower than what it would put it at IBO not by too bad as Bose IBO rated for 318 so when you do the math it, it would fall just a little bit short of the IBO rating but uh, that's really not the the thought behind this bow speed is not really the thing behind this bow like some of the other bows so I can't really peg it for that too much so uh, outstanding bow wanted I really really think that um, if a guy gets his hands on, a guy would really be impressed with. Uh, you guys that have shoulder problems or you guys that are looking for uh, for just a nice smooth bow that you can use for just about everything, definitely give this Maitland a try with this VTX cam. If you're looking for a speed bow, I cannot imagine how the, I, I really look forward to trying this bow out uh, with those speed cams. If it contain, if it keeps that fluid draw and it keeps that nice draw to it without having that aggressive uh, style that most cam speed cams have to and this is going to be just an outstanding bow so uh we'll, we'll see how that goes but if you're looking for a speed bow you'll definitely want the new cams uh check this bow out maitlandusa.com we'll put their website right here just in case i don't have it correct but maitland usa i believe is their website uh this is the maitland retribution so be sure to visit our website as well it's ikesoutdoors.com uh here in a few weeks i'm going to be doing a live webcast as well just to talk about some of the technology and some of the products that i've been testing here over the past couple months kind of give you guys a chance to ask questions firsthand. So be sure to check out our website for that. And you can also follow us on Facebook. Just look up Ike's Outdoors on there. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Be sure to visit the website. Uh, hit us up on Facebook. Be sure to check out Maitland's website as well. Appreciate it. I like good times, good wine, good smoke, and a five-piece bed. And ooh, I can't help it, it's just the way